Hi, in this session uh, we're going to be making creme de saline. Um, this is a creme pat base and it's then got a butter, um, cream butter whipped for it. Um, I want you to use this for making um, the Swiss roll. Just um, as a little difference from uh, making a, a, just a creme patisserie in the Swiss roll, it just means that uh, the butter will help to give it a clean cut when you're presenting those slices. Okay, so just like we're going to make a creme pat, I've got some milk here with some vanilla in. I'm going to add two thirds of my sugar to my milk. I've got one egg yolk in here, 15 grams. I'm going to add the rest of the sugar to that egg yolk. I've also got two eggs, 100 grams of egg. Now what I'm going to do is just spend a, a few seconds whisking up the whisking up the eggs and the, the sugar. Obviously, as soon as you add sugar to egg yolk, you want to start whisking it because otherwise you get a chemical reaction and it will start to coagulate the egg yolk. Mixed. What I'm going to do, just quickly add my flour. Now I'm just going to whisk that just gently at first. Don't want to spray flour everywhere. What I need to do is just spend a few minutes thoroughly whisking that up. What we don't want is any lumps of flour in there. Because we want it all to mix in and help to thicken our creme de saline. So I've just spent a couple of minutes just whisking it up thoroughly, making sure that there's, trying to make sure that there's no uh, lumps of flour in there, and my milk has just come up to a simmer. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the liaison. So that's where we're just adding a little bit of the milk at first, just getting those eggs used to the, the temperature of that hot milk. Time. I'll add the rest. I'm going to pull that back in. That's just ready for um, ready to pass my uh, creme patisserie my creme saline into. I've got a sieve, sieve ready as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whisk this, gently bring it up to heat. It'll be really frothy, and we can tell when it starts to thicken because all of those bubbles will start to disappear. Here as well, I've got 125 grams. Butter, dice that, that's at room temperature. What I'm going to do is two thirds of that butter I'm going to cream together or cream um, with the paddle just to make sure that it's really, really, um, really soft. And the last bit of butter I'm just going to add to the creme pat once it's thickened. So I just feel now it's just starting to come up to temperature, feel that it's starting to heat up on the bottom of the pan. So just now I want to keep an eye on it. Getting 
good. Best way to know whether it's cooked out to taste. in that last bit of butter. Pass it through and sieve, and then from there I'll clean film the surface, and then I'll need to wait till it's cold from the fridge, and then I can finally. So I'm just going to finish off my creme mousseline. Um, I made the, the mousseline base with the, the milk and the eggs and the flour, and a little bit of butter put into it. I've obviously let it set so it's nice and cold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, whip up the remaining butter, beat the remaining butter so it's nice and soft. If it isn't soft, it hasn't been lift out, so it's nice and soft, the, the butter won't mix with the, with the creme patisserie base. And then um, what will happen is you'll have lumps of butter going through your creme patisserie. My butter is now super soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to add a little bit of the mousseline base to, to the butter and beat it in. And what I'll do is just quickly loosen that at the sides just so it really mixes in. And I just want to spend a couple of minutes just making sure that that butter has really mixed through that first part of the base. And there's no lumps of, there's no butter all built up at the side or on the bottom. And so it's all fully incorporated before we add the rest. It's already starting to look like a buttercream. It'd be um, good to pipe if you want to. For this occasion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use use the mousseline in the in a Swiss roll. But it's like I say, mousseline is quite good for if you want to fry in there. It could be for a, a curry pie, for a or something where you're cutting it in half and then you're doing some nice swirled piping, something like that, even if you were doing a, a shoe swarm. around the sides but just to double check make sure you don't want any lumps of butter it won't be a nice mouth feel when you're eating the eating the mousseline eating your dessert if you've got lumps of butter in there And that 
is now done and ready to use. So you can see it really holds its shape, it's really good, it's nice and precise if you want to cut. If you're using it in the Swiss roll and then um, you're making a Swiss roll, you then want to cut it into portions. Um, keep that neat effect, whereas um, if we'd be using creme patisserie, it might be that little bit more messy, start to seep out, and uh, that must lead it. No, we just mean that we get that real precision on our, on our finish. Okay. So I'm just going to put that into a piping bag ready to put into my um, Swiss roll. <laughs>